Hi Yvonne, thanks for sharing your DIY fear about how to rip up three layers of old kitchen flooring and uh, not being sure what to do after that. First of all, when it comes to ripping up the old flooring and, and kind of going forward, that can definitely be scary and it sounds like a tough job, especially to get it three separate layers. So I would say do your research, uh, just make sure you're working with the right tools. And then when you're done, before you start moving forward at all, make sure that the subfloor is clean, level, and perfectly dry. And that'll make sure that you're operating from at least a good starting point. Um, as far as what happens after that, well, that's really up to you and kind of how much renovation you want to do in your kitchen. So to kind of get you pointed in the right direction or at least kind of maybe stoke some inspiration, we're attaching a three-part uh, blog series that's from our Build Direct blogs about how to renovate your kitchen. It's kind of a top to bottom thing. It goes over flooring, backsplashes, and pretty much everything else under the sun. So hopefully you find some uh, good tips in there and happy renovating.